What's up developers and welcome back to a new video where we'll be diving into the authentication middleware in Laravel. Quick pause, do you want to support the channel and want me to continue on creating content? Well, you can support the channel on Patreon right now where you get benefits such as a private Discord group where you can share your coding issues and other developers will help you out. If you are interested to join, the link can be found in the description down below. In this video, I want to show you how you could easily hide certain pages for users. If we navigate back to the web.php file, inside our routes folder, you can see that we have a resource route right here, where we don't want to show unauthenticated users the create and edit page. If we navigate back to the browser, you'll see that we still can click on new article, and we can even edit an article that's not even ours, because we're not logged in at the moment. If we take a look at the route above our resource route, right here, you can see that we're using a middleware with the name of odd. This basically means that the user needs to be authenticated before they can access the forward slash dashboard route, which a user is being redirected to once they're logged in. With the resource route, it's a little bit more complicated, since we got all routes defined from our post controller, right here. Now, if we try to chain the middleware method right here, and let's pass in the odd, save it, navigate back, refresh the page, you can see that we're being redirected even on the forward slash blog endpoint, which is an overview that everyone can see, to the forward slash login endpoint. Now chaining the middleware like we're doing right here works on single routes. So let's remove it for now. And in my honest opinion, the easiest way to handle this is right inside of the controller where you're going to perform your actions. So let's open our post controller and right below our class, let's define a public function the underscore construct. Now, whatever happens inside the constructor will happen once the post controller is being called. Now, what we want to do right here is calling the global middleware by saying this middleware. Inside the middleware method, we got to pass in a string of the middleware that we want to call, which in our case will be odd. Then we need to chain one more method to it because we're going to add the only method but we're going to pass an array with string names, which are equal to the method names that we have down below. So we're basically going to say that the middleware odd, so authenticated users, only applies for certain methods. Now the methods that we want to add right here is the create method. We have the edit method. We have the update method. And finally, we have the destroy method. We're basically going to say that it's only allowed to access these four pages once a user is authenticated. So let's save it, navigate back. Let's change the endpoint to forward slash blog. As you could see, we can access the blog page. We could also access the show page. Now, if we click on new article, you see that we're being redirected to forward slash login, add it as well, and delete as well. Now this works fine, but there's no reason to give a user the options to click on those buttons right here. So let's hide these. Let's start off with the new article button inside Visual Studio Code. We need to scroll down to the blog folder where we have the index.blade.php file. And it's basically this button. So let's copy the entire div and let's define an if statement. Now the condition that we have is basically the global art facade, colon, colon, user. So we're basically going to check whether a user is authenticated or not. If it is, print out the button that we just copied. Now let's save it, navigate back, refresh it. The button is gone right now. So let's add a little bit more padding to the bottom, which should be done right here. So PB is 10. All right. Now then we have the edit and delete buttons. So let's scroll down to where we have them stored right here. So it's basically the form with the answer. So let's copy it. We're going to define a new if statement, but the condition is a little bit different. We're first going to call the auth facade, colon, colon, and we're simply going to grab the ID of the authenticated users. Now we also have access to one single post. Now remember that one single post has a column user ID attached to it. So what we can do is basically say, well, if the authenticated user, their ID is equal to the post user ID, print out what we just copied. If we save it and navigate back, refresh it, you'll see that both buttons are gone. 
if we try to log in in the forward slash login endpoint. So let's do that. You can see that the new article, edit and delete buttons are visible. This was it for this video where we dived into simple auth middleware in Laravel. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.